Welcome to Ismaili Kids TV. Today, we embark on a captivating journey into the mystical world of The Conference of the Birds, a timeless tale written by the Persian poet Farida Din Attar, symbolizing the quest for self-discovery and spiritual transformation. Join us as the birds set out on an extraordinary quest to find their king. We must search for our king. But where do we find him? We don't even know his name. My fellow birds, your true king, the Seamurg, awaits. He resides behind the mountains of Kaf, and we must journey through seven valleys to reach him. Only by seeking the Seamurg, we can bring unity to our flock. But the journey is long and difficult. Are you ready to face the challenges ahead? I'm in. Let's find our king. Yes, let's find Seamurg. And so, the birds decided to follow the wise Hupu, embarking on a transformative journey toward the Seamurg, their hidden king. Our journey begins in the Valley of the Quest, a vast desert that tests the birds' determination and perseverance. Oh, this desert seems endless. The scorching sun and dry sands drain my strength. I fear we might never find the Seamurg. How can we navigate through this vast wilderness? Remember, my fellow birds, the journey is as important as the destination. The challenges ahead seem too daunting. I'm not sure I can face them. Courage is not the absence of fear, my friend. It's facing our fears and rising above them. In the Valley of the Quest, the birds faced thirst, hunger, and exhaustion. They spent many years flying through the valley. Yet, their determination and belief in finding the sea mug kept them moving forward. Next, the birds find themselves in the Valley of Love, a realm of enchanting beauty and alluring temptations. But instead, they are met with a daunting sight. A vast sea of fires with thick black smoke rising into the sky. This is not what we expected. How can we cross the sea of fires? Fear not, my dear friends. The valley of love may challenge us, but remember, love is not just about beauty and harmony. It is about embracing all aspects of life. As they navigate through the valley of love, the birds encounter trials that test their commitment to love. After what seems like an eternity, the birds begin to see the beauty in the midst of the fires. Their love for each other and sea mug bring forth a radiant light. The birds proceed to the next valley, the Valley of Understanding, a realm without beginning or end, where darkness envelopes them. What is this place? I can't see anything. Fear not, my friend. In the darkness, we shall find the light of understanding. In the darkness, the birds encounter a fortress, guarded by a soldier. He is always awake, searching for the inner knowledge of things. Why do you keep awake all the time, guarding this fortress? I seek the knowledge that reveals the inner meaning of things. If you stay awake and search with an open heart, you shall find the knowledge you seek. As they stay awake in the dark, the birds begin to perceive hidden truths and gain insights beyond the physical realm. Having unlocked the light of understanding within themselves, the birds emerge from the valley of understanding with newfound wisdom and clarity. As the birds leave the Valley of Understanding, they find themselves in the Valley of Separation, a realm of isolation and desolation. In the Valley of Separation, the birds learn the importance of inner strength and perseverance in the face of adversity. Leaving the Valley of Separation, the birds enter the enchanting realm of the Valley of Unity, where they find themselves together once more. Unity is the bond that unites us making us stronger than we could ever be, alone. As they journey through the Valley of Unity, the bird's bond deepens, 
and they discover the power of embracing diversity. Continuing their journey, the birds venture into the Valley of Astonishment, a realm of perplexing wonders. Not all who embarked on this journey made it this far. The challenges were immense, and many birds fell along the way. Where are we? This valley feels like a dream. Welcome to the Valley of Astonishment, where appearances deceive and mysteries unfold. In this valley, the birds confront the challenge of navigating through the enigmatic illusions that test their perception and understanding. Amid the illusions, the bird's quest for understanding takes them deeper into the mysteries of existence. As the birds continue their odyssey, they prepare to enter the Valley of Death, where they will confront the ultimate test of their spirit. This place feels airy. It's as if we've entered the realm of shadows. The Valley of Death is a reminder that our journey is not confined to this earthly realm. Through introspection and self-discovery, the birds experienced a profound transformation, transcending their attachment to the material world. Only a fraction of the birds who embarked on this perilous journey reached the Valley of Death. Many had fallen along the way, consumed by thirst, scorched by fire, and taken by hunger. Yet, those who remained, embraced their mortality. Of the thousands that embarked on the journey, only thirty birds endured. These birds were tired, but they were determined to see the sea mug. Finally, they stood before the resplendent palace of the sea mug. Dear sea murk, who shines like the sun, can we please enter your palace? Why are you here? The Seamurg does not want to see you. Go away! The birds were shocked. After all their hard work, was the Seamurg sending them away? How could he turn them away when all they wanted was to see him? Even though they were sad, the birds did not give up. They begged the keeper of the palace for a chance. Don't worry. The Seamurg is testing you. He wants to see how much you really want to meet him. Let me show you something. The keeper slowly lifted a thousand veils, revealing light upon light. Is this real or a dream? Are we seeing ourselves or the Seamurg? It's like we're all the same. Only thirty of us remain, and that signifies the Seamurg. In the sea mug's palace, the thirty birds embrace their true essence, becoming one with the divine light. Each bird represents a part of the sea mug. They understand that the king they sought was within them all along. Dear friends, we hope you enjoyed the enthralling tale of the Conference of the Birds. Remember, the journey to find the sea mug represents our quest for self discovery inner wisdom, and unity with the divine. Until we meet again, may you soar high and embrace the light of your own inner king.